Hello viewers, welcome to TV Math Hub. Today we are going to handle Wakisha Mock 2025 number 4, the one of section A, which says factorize the expression like this and hence solve the equation like this when it is equal to 2 for this given range. So we are going to see how we handle such numbers. So we are saying you factorize, we are saying factorize 6 sin theta cos theta plus 3 cos theta plus 4 sin theta plus 2. When you look at what they have given us, they are four terms. We are going to group the terms in pairs to 2. So when you look at the first pair, there is something common. So this will be equal to, let us pull out the common factor. It is a 3 cos theta. So what will I remain with on the first term? It will be 2 sine theta plus 1. We come to the last two terms. The common factor is 2. I remain with 2 sine theta plus 1. What we have got, we are seeing a common bracket. We are going to pull out that common bracket, which is 2 sine theta plus 1, so we shall remain with 3 cos theta plus 2. So we have factorized the given expression. Now let us go to the hence part. Remember when you are given a hence part, it relates with what we have got above. So where there is the given expression, instead of having the expression, we are going to substitute it with the factors we have got. So instead of having 6 sine theta cos theta plus 3 cos theta plus 4 sine theta plus 2, we just substitute it with 2 sine theta plus 1 into 3 cos theta plus 2, which they have said will be equal to 2. So we are having two factors. So either, either 2 sine theta plus 1 will be equal to 0, or 3 cos theta plus 2 will be equal to 0. So we are going to use the factors we have got to obtain the, the angles they need us to get. So we are going to first consider, we are going to consider this for sine, then later we shall consider the one for cos. So consider, consider 2 sine theta plus 1 equaling to 0. When you make sine theta the subject, you will get negative a half. If we solve for theta, theta will be the sine inverse of a half. We are neglecting the negative a half because the negative shows us where the theta lies. So we shall get sine inverse of a half is 30. The 30 we have got is our key angle. This key angle is going to help us to obtain the required angles from the again diagram. So if I consider the diagram below, the quadrants where I have A all positive, here S sine is positive, here tan is positive, and here cos is positive. So our theta is equal to sine inverse of a half, but we got our sine theta as negative a half. So you ask yourself on these four quadrants, where is sine negative? Sine is negative in the third quadrant, and it is also negative in the fourth quadrant. So we locate our principal angle, which is 30 degrees. 30 degrees, you locate it from the nearest x-axis to the line. It lies. So we are going to use to obtain our required angles. So remember, we are like we are getting angles from negative 180 to 180. So when you're getting the angles, you read from zero degrees, the positive x-axis, to the line. So from here to here, we shall have 180 plus 30. If you're keen enough, this is above the range. So we are going to ignore this first angle. But for every positive angle, there is a negative angle. So we come in the negative sense, which is the next the clockwise direction, so I will get 0, I will get 180 minus 30, so I remain, my theta will now be 150 degrees, but it is negative 1, I'm running in the clockwise direction. So let us go to the fourth quadrant, if I'm running from the positive, the anticlockwise, I, from 0, where the line is, it is beyond 180, so I ignore that. Then I come in the 
I come in the negative direction, which will be the clockwise direction. I will move like this to that line. I will get 30, meaning that the required angle will be negative 30 degrees Y. I'm moving in the clockwise direction. So these are the first required angles when we consider two sine theta plus one is equal to cos theta. Now we are going to consider the second bracket we got, which is three cos theta plus two equal to zero. We are going to consider this. And we see which angles will we get if we consider the one for cos. So I will have consider consider three cos theta plus two is equal to zero. If we make cos theta the subject, what will we have? We shall have negative two divided by three. Solve for theta. Theta will be the cos inverse of two. Divided by 3. We are neglecting the negative. I told you the negative shows us where which quadrant is cos negative, where the, where the angle lies. So cos inverse of 2 over 3 from the calculator will be 48.19 degrees. So let us get that is our key angle. Of course, I'm abbreviating it as Ka, the key angle. So now we are going to get the required angle from our abandoned diagram. So if we sketch something, the four quadrants, we say we begin with A, all are positive, sine is positive, tan is positive, cos is positive. But what we are interested in, where is cos theta negative? Cos is negative in the second quadrant, and it is negative in the third quadrant. So you place the key angle. The key angle is 48.19, and in the third it is 48.19. Now let us locate our required angle. Remember I've told you we locate it from 0 degrees from the positive x-axis to the line. So in the second quadrant it will be this. So it will be 180 minus 48.19. So our theta will be 131.81 degrees. Because it is less than 180 and it is in the anticlockwise direction. That is why it is positive. But we said for every positive, there is a negative. So the negative will be this. But if you're keen enough, the negative is greater than negative 180. So we ignore it. So let us come to the third quadrant. The third quadrant is running from this. And if you're keen enough, it is greater than 180. So let us take the negative version in the clockwise direction. It will be this. So we shall get... 180 minus 48.19 giving us negative 131.81 degrees. It is negative because we are moving in the clockwise direction. So arrange the angles from the smallest to the biggest. So our theta will be negative 150 degrees, negative 131.81 degrees, negative 30, and lastly, 131.81 degrees. Those were the required angles for this number. Yeah.